What's up, guys? It's Elliot. Um, just another update about some random bullshit in my life. Um, probably not gonna be all that interesting, but I do want to say some things. Um, so I don't know if everyone out there knows about the Jim Collins Foundation, but um, I went to the um, Trans Health Conference in Philly last summer and I had already applied for the Jim Collins Foundation grant that um, funds um, transgendered surgeries and um, I talked to with the guy at the booth there and he was like you know telling me about the person who won last year and basically that if I got my application on time I'd find out by like September October um, if, uh, if I'd get the grant. And last year, only about a hundred people applied for this grant. And, um, this year, 400 people applied. And, um, I was trying to get funds for top surgery, as most people know who have been watching my page. Um, so, it's December now, and I got an email last week and um, I'm a finalist, which is kind of crazy, <coughs> considering that this year there were 400 applicants. Um, it just like blows my mind that I w I'd be a finalist out of 400 people, um, especially because uh, I think the person who won last year was um, like collecting cans for like over a year or something like that, trying to lose money. Um, and I haven't done anything like that, you know, I, uh, I guess I had a hell of an essay, I don't know, um, but they, they base it on your income from your previous year, and then your projected income from this year, and how much effort you put into it, and you have personal, pro um, professional references and all that, so that has, um, a lot to do with it, I guess, but, um, so yeah, then I found out I was a finalist, and um, it was interesting because at a time when I was very sure that that's what I wanted, I applied for this grant, and um, I was trying to raise money, and maybe, you know, let's see, like five months or so go by, almost, and I've... Uh, like change my mind completely, you know. Um, because I'm not I'm not transitioning to male. I'm just transitioning to me. So um whatever that is, you know, and kinda judge myself a lot, like what what's the purpose of not getting top surgery if if I'm presenting myself in the public eyes flat chested, you know. And um it kinda just I kind of just like caught myself judging myself based on what I thought other people might be thinking of me and um, I kind of was like, you know, I can do whatever I want, you know, that's, that's the whole, you know, idea that got me started with this was that the rules were stupid and they, they, they weren't rules, in fact, they were just some words put together and put into a belief system that so many people live by. So, um, I decided to write to them and tell them to please, um, you know, put somebody else in the finalist spot who really needed it. Um, because I, I feel very comfortable with myself now. Yeah. So, that happened, and that was... It was like a really interesting growth spot for me because um, it solidified my my feelings on my body. Here I was given this like great opportunity um, to just have my top surgery funded and I said no. And that's kind of awesome for me to say I can present flat chested and I can go home and 
take my binder off and be absolutely comfortable with what's underneath, you know. Um, and I feel like, you know, I, I feel like that's a large part of that is like, if someone were to date me, like, what would they think? Like, what would they expect? And, um, as far as that goes, I don't think I'd be dating anybody who didn't accept that. Um, I'm too picky for that. So, um, that's really cool, I guess, and I'm happy about that. It feels good. Um, and, uh, I guess there's not a lot else to talk about as far as transition goes, except, um, the, uh, the cramping I was experiencing has gone down a lot, but I'm not sure if I have, like, back problems or my mattress isn't quite right. But I kind of feel this discomfort in my lower back, and I think it, I'm not sure if it kind of makes it feel like I'm getting cramps, um, or not, but, um, that's gone down, so. I have an appointment with my doctor on Monday, so, I think I'm gonna be just discussing, like, where I am and whatnot, and, um, probably stay at the same level and ride it out a little bit more and I'm also um, going to be doing a case study with one of my friends for her massage therapy class for about two months so that'll be really awesome too to get like two months worth of free massages and I really hope that a lot of the emotional things that I have um, built up inside of me are going to come out um, through that massage therapy. I mean, she can just put her hands on me for a second and start rubbing out a knot and I feel like I'm going to cry. So um, I think that's going to be really good, so I'm happy about that. Um, also, I don't know if this lighting would get it all, but um, I've got I just look so pale, you can't see anything, but under here, um, I have, uh, pretty much from, like, here down to there is, um, is sparse dark hairs, and, um, the parts that aren't dark are blonde and very grown in, um, it feels like a little boy beard. <laughs> I like it. I I shave on the sides and leave that leave that to grow <laughs> just to see what it's doing. But it's really not visible so much unless you're uh, in in person with me. So all right, that's all I have to say. Um, it's almost a holiday, so I hope whoever's celebrating Christmas is gonna have a good one and um, Monica as well and. Kwanzaa, <laughs> whatever, um, whatever you guys celebrate, so, take care, and, um, I'll see you soon.